last month, I was already in the Halloween spirit, and I came and I told stories about things that, that were scary when I was a kid. And I was lamenting the fact that there aren't that many scary things in my kids' lives. They're just not scared of anything, unless it's a scary movie. There's no dog in the neighborhood that they're terrified of. There's no old guy that they're afraid is actually a demon or anything like that. And I was thinking about that and all of the many, many things that we were scared of when we were kids. And there just wasn't time in five minutes last month to get it all out. So I wanted to tell you some more. I want to tell you about my grandparents' house in Illinois that we used to go and visit. They lived in Decatur, Illinois, and they lived in this huge house. It was three stories tall with a huge basement, and the road in the front was brick, which was really exciting to go and see. We lived in, the Missouri, in Missouri, out in the country. And for those of you that are new, um, I'm the oldest of 21 kids. So we would pack up, there weren't 21, all the years, it took time to get to 21. But we would pack however many of us there were, at any point in time, into a tiny car, a station wagon, and later a van, and later a pickup, and drive to Illinois to visit my grandparents. And my grandparents' house was completely packed with stuff. Now, you would have seen them on TV on a little show called Hoarders. But then they didn't have that show, and um, so they thought they were completely normal. And their house was just, just pathways through huge walls of stuff, of really amazing stuff, just boxes and boxes of stuff. And then when you came into the living room, it widened out into a little area where they sat and watched the seven televisions that they had stacked up on top of each other. Some of them only had sound, and some of them only had, you know, the picture. And so those were tuned to the same channel, obviously, but otherwise it was all different things. And they would sit in their two chairs next to each other and watch their televisions. And we would sit on one of the six sofas that, you know, where they cleared a space for us to come in and sit. And it was really cozy, and you couldn't hear the city outside because the whole house was muffled because of so much stuff. And it was amazing. But there was only one bathroom, and it was upstairs, up these narrow stairs. And I loved it when I got old enough to be trusted to go upstairs to the bathroom by myself even though it was so scary. This house, all the doorknobs were made out of glass. For some reason, glass doorknobs are extremely creepy. Have you ever noticed that? It's like there are souls trapped in every doorknob in the house. And you go up these stairs and you walk past these huge doors of dark wood with the glass doorknobs. And they're calling you, calling you to open the door and see what's in there in Grandpa's special room that you're never supposed to go in. It was so scary. And then, on top of that, there was a little door that went upstairs to the attic. And when it was open, I would push it and push it, and it would creak open. And there were the tiny little narrow stairs that went upstairs. And I wanted to know so bad what was upstairs in that attic. And I would make it up about three steps and I would try not to look at what I already knew was at the top of that landing, which was a painting painted by my great uncle. And it was a picture of a severed hand <laughs> in a battlefield, laying on a Bible holding a rose. <laughs> and that is why I have no idea what it was in the attic at my grandparents' house. <laughs> because there's no way I could make it past that painting. But everything was creepy back then. Everything was so old. My kids, everything's new, you know? And cemeteries were real cemeteries then, like the one up on campus with headstones, you know? And they're not scary anymore, which is nice, because we go there and we walk around and we remember our loved ones, especially today, on the Day of the Dead. And we want to invite them back. When I was a kid, I never would have invited them back. <laughs> no way would I have invited anybody back. Even if I had been born in Mexico, I don't think I could have gotten used to that. <laughs> uh, but I love my grandparents' house, and I wish that I could take my kids there so they could really be scared. Thank you.